If you built your PC and bought speedy RAM, there's a good chance that RAM isn't running at its advertised timings. RAM will always run at slower speeds unless you manually tune its timings or enable Intel's XMP. This option isn't available on every motherboard's BIOS, and not every stick of RAM has an XMP profile. Some RAM is just designed to run at standard speeds. But, if you built your gaming computer and bought RAM advertised with fast speeds, you should have XMP as an option. Before starting a video subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you never miss my new video. So, let's get started. First, check your RAM timings from within Windows. Right click on Taskbar and click on Task Manager, then go to Performance and Memory. Here you can see the speed of your RAM. If you built your PC and never enabled XMP, there's a good chance your RAM timings are slower than you expect them to be. To enable XMP, you'll need to head into your computer's BIOS. Restart your computer and press the appropriate key at the start of the boot process. The key may be displayed on your computer's screen during the boot-up process. If you're not sure what the appropriate key is for your computer, check your computer's or your motherboard's documentation. Poke around in the BIOS, go to Overclock setting and look for an option named XMP. It may be in an Overclocking Options section, although it isn't technically overclocking. Activate the XMP option and select a profile. While you may see two separate profiles to choose from, you'll often just see a single XMP profile you can enable. If there are two profiles to choose from, they'll often be extremely similar, with one just having slightly tighter memory timings. You should just be able to choose profile 1 and be done with this. Then just boot back into Windows and open Task Manager again and you can see the difference. Whenever you insert RAM that's advertised with faster than standard speeds, just head to the BIOS and enable XMP to ensure that RAM is running at those speeds. While it's simple, it's easy to miss especially if you've never heard of XMP and don't know you need to perform this extra step. Hopefully, our detailed guide here helped you to enable XMP profile. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next one.